Okay, yeah. We, uh, this is uh, uh, 0 0.8 millimeter sieve, and this is our first good size gold. Right here. Nice big old piece. Oh, yes. That's nice. probably really nice. millimeter nice. across. Peter's asked, can you find two pieces that are big enough for pad earrings? Earrings. <laughs> and I think his wife must have very small ears. Uh, tiny earrings. <laughs> but this is what we're looking for. Yep. This is the stuff that would not normally be caught by a Mongolian sluice. There you go. Because what's, what size do you reckon that is? Uh, about a millimeter. This is a, a 0 0.8 millimeter sieve. Okay, well... So that's uh, about a millimeter. And it's flat. And it's very flat, yeah. So that would just skip through a typical okay. Russian sluice. Well, let's get some tweezers and put it in a little bowl Absolutely. and you can look at it with yeah. the uh, microscope. So this... Uh, well, we have found gold in the sieves. On the left, um, Fife and his group are picking out the gold pieces which we did not check before we ran uh, our material through. And on the right, Robin's checking with the, uh, I believe it's 0 0.5 millimeter screen to see if he can see any gold before we run our material through it because this should catch all the pen balls and uh, also gold. But we want to make sure that we use a, a barren sieve before we do that. We've got a piece of gold right here, and, and as I pan, it will move down that black sand. And how big is the gold, would you say? Oh, I don't know. This is maybe 50 minus. You see how it's just mm -hmm. scooting down? It's yeah. flat. It just skates right on down. So, so this black sand is going to be hard packed? Or no, 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 not hard packed. It's just the... The nature of the flat gold on top of the dense black sand, and so that's it's why it's so, floating. so sur surfing. That's it's not right. floating. It's kite. No, it's not floating. No. It's kiting over that that black sand mm -hmm. surface. So that's the importance of shaking it down every once in a while, coming back and very carefully, mm -hmm. nice and slow. And even at that, even at that, you're going to lose some. Now here's this may be the same piece. Let me get in real close here. That's far as I can go, I think, with focus. So we're into... Yeah, here it is, here. Millimeter and less. Yeah? Uh, Would you say, or millimeter? Oh, I think so, yeah. This is the 0 0.5, 0 0.25 screen, I believe. And just carefully panning down so that whatever fine gold might be in here, we're going to try and catch, and my, my apologies to Travis, I know I'm not using this to the uh, fullest extent of his, his vision. Uh, this is the, the way that I'm most familiar. This is kind of painstaking panning, but it's, it's worth it because you just have to be careful and take mm -hmm. your time. I don't think that big piece is gold. Well, we'll get the microscope out in a minute, and uh, my concern is that when you reach this stage, the fine gold can be underneath the black sand part. Well, here's Steve looking at, uh, down the microscope, at the oh final black sand, black and gold. I'm going to ask him in a moment to count the gold in pieces. The biggest pieces just jump out at you. Okay. The smallest pieces, it takes a little, a little bit of maneuvering uh, to get your sun, eye in yeah. sunlight just right and the focus just right okay but the small ones are really too too many to count and what sort of shape is the goal uh angular right. um, it's I, from what i've seen it doesn't look to be beat flat flakes mm -hmm. like like what i've seen elsewhere it's certainly longer than wider and uh, uh angular and sharp edges on some of it so Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Elder well Otto, done. <laughs> we found the mother load.